Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick little tour. Um, been cleaning up the downstairs grill room, so uh, get ready for winter. So just give you a quick look around. Um, my old table that was over there is uh, going to be redone. So I have something a little more sturdy, so that's all going to go. I'm going to redo that. Cleaned up all my buckets. All my totes over there, just kind of situated my shelves a little bit. And then over here, um, so I have actually uh, an apple crisp. I just put this in there today. And I have the dasher cucumbers in there. This will probably stay in here. The dasher cucumber will go into one of the big 27 gallon totes uh, as soon as it sprouts and gets enough roots on it. So that'll move. And then I'm going to actually put another pepper in in the arrow garden uh, I'm not sure I might actually take a plant from outside clean it up see if I can put it in there if not maybe I'll put it in a tote um, that way I'll have a head start on one of my pepper plants but uh, just wanted to show you I have a I have a tomato this was a sucker off of one of my lemon ice tomatoes which I'm going to grow this year inside so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it in one of these Rockwell cubes. Um, if you have an arrow garden, these one and a half inch Rockwell cubes, if you trim these up just a little bit on the four corners, just like that, they fit right inside the arrow garden nice and snug. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my tomato sucker in here. Put it in the arrow garden and hopefully it will root it's not the best looking sucker um, for some reason i can't find a whole lot of suckers out there so basically what i'm going to do is well let me split it first so i'm going to actually split this right in half just like that now we're going to soak that So I'm going to get water all over the place. And I'm going to take this. Whoops, look at that. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to set this right in here. And we're going to jam that together. And then, spin it around a little bit. It's probably going to be hard to see with that light, but basically you're going to take, slide that right in there. better look maybe without that light so this is only tap water in here I just filled this up so no nutrients um, this has a pump naturally so chlorinated water right out of the tap I just poured it in there and filled it up it takes uh, about a gallon and a quarter to fill this so I'm just gonna leave these here until they sprout and until that forms some roots and then that will go into one of the large cracky totes as well. Because the arrow garden definitely won't uh, handle anything that's going to grow that, that size. But just wanted to show what I had going on down here in the basement. Oh, if you're looking at my era or my aloe vera, this actually is a small buck pot and it fell over. It knocked everything out. Um, so I replanted one of the pups that was in there which is actually a good size i'm probably going to take these and separate all of them and just let them keep growing because it's not doing all that great just because that pot's so small but all right that's about it for this week just wanted to let you know what i got going on when i'm starting in the basement probably should have already started this before but uh eh, we do what we can do right all right hope you liked the video please click the like button please subscribe and leave a comment all right thanks see ya